moving along with the project here I was able to attach the router to the top so it slides nice now so the next step is figure out a way to to make it move with the motor so probably I'm going to use a, a threaded rod to move it from here to here so I'll update when I have something a little update here of the conversion of the radiator arm saw to a CNC router okay so I took the router so I can use <coughs> attach the slide or the uh, the rod this is the rod and I'm going to go a little further to get better perspective okay as you can see I'm trying to attach the rod to something that moves the router along the X uh, well Y or X axis so I made this plastic blob I melted the plastic and made it kind of like a a holder for the hex nut. It looks ugly, but it is strong. The only little problem that I have is kind of when I turn the rod, it's a little bit snug, which is not too bad. But uh, well, I want to leave it like that and see how it works. If not, I probably have to. I I made the a cut with a saw to free this a little bit so the rod can screw in better so the next thing I need to do now is just make a bracket so I can hold this down and so this can move along the axis like I said this plastic is a melted plastic from a broken trash can that was in the alley so I melted it and formed it into this here so now it fits perfect doesn't move let's see how it works so time for an update on the project okay so I made some progress little by little by little uh, what I did is I figured out a way to embed the uh, hex nut. So a hex nut this big is embedded here, as you can see it, right there. And it's melted plastic. The look is not the best, but it's strong. It's very strong. You can you can see I made a bracket here. It's so stiff, so it moves, it moves the uh, router sideways on the y-axis or x-axis, whatever <clears throat> you want to call it. Okay, so the travel of the router already got it set up. So now I uh, made an attachment or a way to attach the NEMA motor this is a very small motor probably I'm gonna have to use uh, uh, an EMA 23 but for now this is the one I have and I'm gonna just test it just for the purpose of uh, you know making it work and then I'll bump it up to a higher torque uh, motor so um, as you can see this rod is gonna be going through the hex nut here and it's gonna, it's gonna move the router on this end I made another plastic I don't know if you can see it right there it's a plastic uh, yes a plastic bracket with a hole so the rod can go in there and just hold it it's gonna turn but it's not gonna require to be held sturdy because it's the whole thing is going to be on the hex nut here so on this end I'm going to attach the NEMA motor so I made a hole, it was tough, this, this rod is stainless steel 
So I made a hole through the core and then I tap I made a hole here to hold the NEMA motor with the uh, indentation that he had, you know, it's, 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 it's flat. It's flat there, so when it goes in, it's going to be tight, tightened with the screw. So I, I already got that part. So this is a progress. Um, then when I do the uh, sliding X axis or Y axis, I'll, up, I'll update it again. So for now, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm at, and I appreciate you viewing it. Thank you. Hello, this is another video. We are continuing the conversion of this radial arm saw uh, to a CNC router. As you can see, the router is there. I was able to mount a NEMA 17 motor. The, the mounting is not the best, but it's... Uh, is uh, satisfactory uh, so I, I really run a little test on see how it moves maybe I just need to adjust the speed but for now all I wanted to do is if it if it moved and it moves pretty good and it's got some torque I, I was trying to stop it by hand and it it really moved so let's do that um, as you can see this is my board I forgot the name I think it's a Gramps 1.4 with a uh, driver is I think the driver is a DRV 8825 that one I had some problems overheating but I think I solved it now it's it's been on for a while and it's not even warm well the weather is cold but maybe that's the reason but it is not overheating the reason it was overheating is because of the uh, potentiometer there was um, set too high and even when the motor was stopped was drawing current but now I adjusted it and it's perfect as you can see it's only right now it's only drawing like 0.1 amps 100 milliamps so let's see when I run it I'm gonna run the motor here using the, this CNC program. So as you can see, it's moving. I need to set the speed, but it's moving good. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna go in the other direction. Uh, right here. Sorry, it's lowness, but it's hard to record with the. Okay, there it is. I mean, as you can see, it's moving on the other direction. You can see the motor is moving. And the router is moving too on the other direction. It's probably slow, but I'll set the speed later. So for now, you can see here. Where is it? Right there. It's moving. So this is where I'm at, uh, thanks for watching.